What's up everybody, it's me, I'm back with another review and today I'm talking about the new album from Grammy Awards winner Jess Glenn. It's her third studio album simply titled Jess and it's her first album in six years. I guess like most people I first became aware of Jess Glenn when I heard the song Rather Be that she did with Dean Bennett and what a monster hit that was, right? Firstly, I instantly liked her voice and secondly, I had a flashback because Rather Be reminded me of those 90s dance tracks like finally with that piano line and uh, string sound and uh, can you believe it's already been 10 years since that song came out jesus i'm getting old um but in 2015 she released her uh, debut album i cry when i laugh and uh, that was a huge success it did it went five times platinum in uk crazy numbers but it's got all the hits hold my hand um, ain't got far to go, take me home, don't be so hard on yourself, uh, my love rather be, um, real love not letting go, um, yeah, huge success. And another big success was this album, her follow up, her second album, Always In Between, came out in 2018, um, another platinum album um, with a couple number ones, All I Am, I'll Be There. Um, these days and I guess my favorite um, song on that album is So Real and uh, yeah then she took a break from music and um, after a dispute with her record label she parted ways with Atlantic Records and signed a new record deal with EMI and um, now last Friday this album came out, Jazz, her third studio album. It had 15 tracks on it, and I will discuss each one briefly. And uh, I have made notes, so let's go. The album begins with an intro, and it seems as she wants to make the record even more personal than before, because the lyrics say, I'm not here to say sorry, I'm not here to say nothing, I'm just here to be me. And uh, what puzzles me is that this song is only 1 minute 17 long and then she needed two other people to write it. So that's why I, I hesitate to call Chesslin a singer-songwriter. It's the same with Beyoncé. I wouldn't call her a singer-songwriter either. They may contribute to the songs, yeah, but they have a team around them. You know, because let's face it, Paul McCartney is a singer-songwriter. Lionel Richie is a singer-songwriter. Dolly Parton, Joni Mitchell, Tracy Chapman, you know, these people are singer-songwriters. And of course, you don't necessarily have to play an instrument, but as a real songwriter, you should be able to write a song on your own every now and again without five or six other people for a three-minute song. But um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I find that quite weird you know, if um, some artists say, oh, I I'm writing songs. And then I'm thinking, yeah, but um, why do you need five other people for a three minute song? You know, so it's just, yeah, it's quite weird in my opinion. But anyway, uh, Silly Me is the second track and it's the first or was the first single. And I think it's the catchiest song um, on the album, the catchiest chorus. And um, but ironically, and unfortunately, all the singles from this album haven't done a big business yet. You know? Um, which is ironic because pretty much every singer she's released before has achieved at least silver status in the UK. Um, but that just goes to show that in pop and dance music, if you stay off the radar for too long, people tend to forget about you. you know, because it's been six years since um, the last album came out. And um, yeah, it sounds harsh. But in the end of the day, Chess shouldn't care too much about it because I think she still holds the record for the most number ones uh, by a female artist in the UK. And uh, she achieved that in a yeah, relatively short period of time, I think five years or so. So she should get some applause for that. Um, but uh, anyway, the next song is Easy and it's the latest single. And I think it's a perfect springtime song. Now it's up tempo and uplifting and uh, yeah, I like it. Say No, um, I think this song in particular shows her vocal range and um, what else, Enough is another single. Maybe not the most memorable song, but still nice to listen to. Then Friend of Mine, um, it's the fastest song on the album because it has a drum and bass arrangement. And then Lying. It's a piano ballad. And what I like about this song is um, that Enya-esque vocal sound in the background, you know, which I guess you really hear these days. 
But to me, it sounds so great when you put one vocal track um, over another. Yeah. So, um, if you, same thing when you listen to uh, some of the Enya tracks, yeah, it just has that choir sound and it sounds so majestic and um, yeah, it's just a great sound, I think. Um, then Save Your Tears, it has nothing to do with uh, the weekend song, by the way. Uh, Save Your Tears, it's not spectacular by any means. It's a filler track. It's okay, though. So, um, But it changes for me, because What Do You Do? Um, it's another singer. And it's pretty much what you expect from uh, Chespin. It's one of those songs you can listen while driving through a city at night. You know, so... I like it, you know, co-written and co-produced by Stuart Price, who has worked with big names in the past. Madonna, um, uh, he did the Confessions album with her. Um, Seal, The Killers, Take That, and uh, Dua Lipa. And um, yeah, it's one of the biggest names, I think, when it comes to uh, the producer, um, when it comes to the producers in the last uh, 15 years or so. And or 20 years even. So, I um, mean, yeah, Stuart Price, I like some of his work, um, or most of his work, actually. And um, what I'll say, it isn't true. Um, it's a guitar-driven song, uh, more up-tempo, and it was co-written by Maureen, um, Maureen MacDonald, who worked with Ellie Golding. So I'm familiar with her um, because she co-wrote a couple of songs on uh, um, Ellie Golding's Delirium album. And um, then Chair, another piano ballad. And I have the feeling that she shows more vulnerability on uh, this album. And uh, then Do You Know About Love? Another filler track. Not too crazy about it, to be honest. Then We Had Something, Picks Up The Pace. Um, I think this is my favorite um, song on the album. Super melodic. Um, deep voice in the verse and then it builds up to the chorus and she sings higher and um, yeah it's could have been on the first album yeah so uh, pretty much my favorite we had something then uh, love me is a mid-tempo track and just like on lying it has that gospel choir vocal sound and it reminds me of these days you know the the track she did with Rudy Mansell and Macklemore and um, yeah last track is promise me and uh, it was co-written by um, Craig Kirsten. You know, he also produced this track. And uh, yeah, it's a piano ballad. And Craig Kirsten also worked with Adele. And it could be an Adele song, actually, I think. You know, so, But uh, it's a nice way to finish the album. Overall, I think it's a solid album. Not really spectacular, but not too overproduced either. Because her voice is always in the foreground. And there are a few filler tracks on it. But um, it also has uh, some nice moments. So for the most part, I dig this album. Um, there you go. 15 tracks. Um, could have been even better, I think, with only 12 or 13. But man, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so there you go. The booklet. I still like to buy CDs, by the way. I'm an old school kind of guy, kind of guy but I don't care uh, because I've grown up. Like I said, I'm getting old. <laughs> I've grown up in, a, in the 90s and in the 90s there was nothing else. I think um, apart, I still have cassettes actually. So there was nothing else than CDs. And um, yeah, I like the booklet and the credits. So, um, because I've always been interested in who did what when it comes to making an album. So it's not just um, the artist, it's also the people who worked with that particular artist. And uh, yeah, I, do, I don't know, I just like to have, still like to uh, buy CDs, you know. So here's another one. This was my album review for Chess Blend Chess. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment or subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching.